Hello guys and welcome to a new video. So remember in my last video I mentioned that playing Blackout in prime time will give you the hardest games of your life. Well you're gonna see that for yourself because today I'll be showing you guys one of the games I played at midnight which is the prime time in my server. But before we jump into that game let's finish watching this clip which is also from one of the games I played that day. And you can see why I love London at construction site. There is always action here. Down. Enemy eliminated. Sadly, we lost that game as our entire team got wiped. So now we'll move on to the second game and this one had so much action it was crazy. There were two squads in this game that knew us and wanted to kill us. And enemies kept pushing us one squad after the other. So let's see how it went and whether we were able to hold our grounds or whether we'll be sent back to the lobby. Let's get started. You already know where we're landing. I mean, I wasn't joking when I said construction site is the new platform. And everyone here knows it now. So any team that's looking for some fun and action always lands here. Enemy. Enemy, down. Enemy, up. Enemy, up. Enemy down. Enemy eliminated. So we cleaned construction site, upgraded our skills, and we had the chance to loot both a normal airdrop and a loadout airdrop without any trouble. But as soon as we did that, one of our teammates got knocked, so we had it that way right away. And you know the funny thing is that I actually met this squad a day before this game, and we ended up teaming up and having a melee fight in the end. <laughs> bro, that's fair bro, come on. Yes. One, two, three, four. Let's go. <laughs> yes. no, I know. <laughs> but today things are different today they're not here to team up they're here to kill us i couldn't really get my teammate dog tag with the car and their full team was there so they can destroy our car fast and they can also kill us easily since it was just two of us so we had to get a bit of an advantage over them which is this little house right here because it will allow me to use my ninja hook and pick off the enemy team one by one and by the way this tiny house was pretty much the mvp of this game and you'll know why soon Just as I was about to get the other dog tag, another team decided to push us and I had to retreat, otherwise I would have been dead. Getting pushed by a full squad in the open is the worst thing that can happen to a ninja user. Especially that I only had one hook available and I had to make the best use of it. Drop is coming. Ah! 
We were under so much pressure there to the point where we couldn't get our teammate duct tag, but luckily we ended up getting it on time. And you can see how choosing a perfect battleground alters the entire outcome of a battle. And in this case, it was just one tiny house that allowed us to come out on top against two thirsty squads. Right after those crazy fights, we heard more gunshots near us, so we went out for more kills. The reason I'm being a bit cautious here and near grassy areas in general, because enemies love to snake. So always keep an eye for snakes and watch your steps. I had a terrible positioning and I should have killed this case enemy first or at least damaged him because he had vision over the entire area. Luckily Chelsea had medic in this game and he managed to revive me in 4 seconds only so I was ready to get back into the action and this time with our entire team present. These guys had some great positioning and they were sticking to each other so we had to break that by knocking at least one of them and the best way to do it was to flank them from the sides or the back. Your drop is coming. Enemy down. Enemy eliminated. That was some great teamwork from us. It was pretty hard to break through their defenses, especially with no buildings around me to give me high ground. But in the end, we had some great positioning attacking from different sides, which gave me an opening to knock one enemy, then push towards the others. I really hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay as much as I enjoyed playing this game. I think it was the most fun game for me in Blackout. And if you did enjoy it, then kindly consider leaving a like before you leave. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.